There's a quick and very easy way to square numbers, small numbers that is, which end in 5. Um, it may seem quite a, a specialist thing, but it's good fun, so uh, I'll show you how to do it. Let's take 35 squared. And this uses the rule or sutra by one more than the one before. The one before is the 3. So we take one more than that, which is 4, and we multiply it by the 3 and write down the answer, 12. And then all that's required is to put down the square of 5, 25. So the answer is 1,225. Another example, 65 squared. One more than 6 is 7. 6 times 7 is 42 and put down the square of 5, 4, 2, 2, 5. 25 squared. 2 times 3 is 6, and put down 25. 85 squared. 8 nines is 72, so it's 7, 2, 2, 5. What happens when we have 115 squared? Well, we, we can treat the one before as this single number 11 and so multiply 11 by 12 giving 13225 well that's as far as it goes for larger numbers we would use a different uh, a different rule but it can be useful also uh, for squaring decimal uh, numbers like this or 1.5 squared so treat it as 15 squared 1 times 2 is 2, and put down 25, and then figure out where the decimal point goes. Well, we have 1 here, and so we double that number of decimal digits to give 2, so it's 2.25. Similarly, 0 0.45 squared. We treat it as 45 and square that, giving 2025. And because there are two decimal digits here, there will be four in the answer. So it's uh, 0 0.2025. And um, when we come to 0 0.075 squared, we're going to have six decimal digits uh, in the answer. There are three here, so it's double that six. Seven eighths of 56, we put down five six, two five. And then we want six digits after the decimal point, so it's 0 0.005625. Likewise, we can multiply, uh, we can square numbers and in, uh, effectively ending in 5, but with some zeros on the end, like this, 650 squared. We we'll treat it exactly the same as 65 squared, so it's 6 sevens of 42, and then 25 and then just double the number of zeros. Likewise, uh, 5500 zero, zero squared, 5 six is a 30, put down 25, and double the number of zeros, zero, 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 zero. And we have this. Now why, why, why do we double the number of zeros? Well if we take 650 squared and look at it, 650 times 650 which is equal to 65 times 10 times 65 times 10 and that's equal to 65 times 65 times 10 times 10 and 65 squared times 10 squared or 100 and that's why we double the number of uh, zeros. In the next session, I'll show how to square numbers which are close to a power of 10.